nothing goes uh, lower uh, than what people will jack off to. Who wants to take the intro this week? I think Tyler, our longest running guest, should do it. No, that's not what... That always makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> right out the door. Put you right on the spot. Yeah, no, you, don't, you, you don't have to. Wound. Trust me. Hey, Give guys. Pass. Welcome <laughs> to this episode of the official podcast, where your hosts, Jackson, we've got Andrew, we've got Charlie, and we've got the handsome <laughs> Kaya. I don't know. Thanks. Um, he is handsome. I'll, I'll give I'll give him that. And with us this week, we have Tyler or Wildcat, as he is known on the YouTube's. Tyler, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I am Tyler, and yeah, that's my my YouTube channel. I am Wildcat. Beautiful. That's that's about all you need to know about me. All right. That was fucking <laughs> that was simple. painless. Jesus. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> right there on in there. Yeah. All so right. if I Google Tyler, I'll find your YouTube, right? <laughs> no, you probably won't. Shit. Who's this fucking Tyler? <laughs> Tyler the creator. Oh, no. yeah, actually, probably. Let's see. Why are you... Andrew, you do this every week. Every time we have a guest, the first thing you do is Google the person's name and take up nothing but, like, 40 fucking seconds doing that and slow everything down. <laughs> every week. I got... Um, I got Tyler Sis. I don't know what that is. Some sort of public school. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, I got a Tyler, Tyler, Tyler on Texas. Urban Dictionary. Tyler on Wikipedia, an old English word that means doorkeeper of an inn. Oh, fancy. I'm, I'm nowhere uh, on this, like, first, like, wow. three pages. Tyler, no. the creator's on the front page. Why aren't you? He will be after the to, podcast yeah. hits. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Probably. What happens if I That's, Google Jackson? No, well, nothing. This it's is probably going to be Michael Jackson. This is great material for the podcast. Things no one can see. Uh, what about... <laughs> I think it's a, what, if, what if we Google Charlie? Yeah. You get a football player. And the chocolate factory. You're going to get and the chocolate oh. factory, 100%. Well, guys, do you also get this uh, result? It says Charlie and then from your Google contacts, and then it has this mobile phone number here. I could read it aloud if you guys think that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't have that. What's that number? <laughs> well, I'm not seeing that on my screen. <laughs> it's 911 uh, 247-8562. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Kaya, can I just yeah. uh, inquire as to why you keep opening Saints Row 4? <laughs> I'm trying to get my controls to work with it. Oh, well, this is the perfect time for that, isn't this it? This is the greatest time for <laughs> that. I am, I am fully aware, as you might have noticed, I answered you immediately. <laughs> well, this is the <laughs> technical <fully> specialist <laughs> podcast. Tyler, we have a confession to make. We brought you on here to troubleshoot for us. Okay. We, yeah. Saints we just, Row Four. We can't get Saints Row Four to work. Did you tell <laughs> us? I've never played you know it about. once in my life. <laughs> you did. Oh fuck. No, just, right. no I have not played Saints Row Four. Sadly. Andrew yeah. is having problems with his USB devices, though. That is that true. is true. So if I go away for a solid five seconds, it's because my computer decided to shit the bed. So solid anyway, on to an important seconds. and actual cool discussion. Tyler, do you like computers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I use them every day. You know, they're did pretty you build cool. One? You ever built one? Uh, I did build one, yeah, and then it got stolen. Oh, fuck. Tell like, like, stolen. Like, yeah, so I, so I built one for YouTube, and I used it for, like, I don't know, eight or nine months, and then I upgraded the graphics card. I got, in like, a 980, uh, 980 right when they came out, and then, like, I had it for a month, and uh, I was driving to my parents' house for, like, uh, the holidays, and on my way back, me and my girlfriend stopped to eat, and someone broke into my truck and stole it, because, like, I take my YouTube stuff back and forth. Wow. Yeah, it was like a whole ordeal. Yeah, I'm, it sucked ass. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, sorry about that, but I'm not giving it yeah, back. Yeah, it was like two years ago. It's fine now, but you know, at the time, it was. I never had anything stolen from me like that. Like, it really makes you not trust people as much anymore. Yeah, did, oh, did they man. break into the window? Did they smash the window? Yeah, open, yeah, they they smashed the window. I had it. I parked like in the front row. Like they didn't like broad. It was wasn't broad daylight, but there was like a light right above it. They they didn't give a shit. They smashed into like two two or three other vehicles there. They stole like uh, the purse out of one, but yeah, they hit the jackpot wow. of mine. They stole like an yeah. Xbox One, a couple monitors in oh, my in my wow. PC. Uh, were Jeez, you carrying got, your got, studio with you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I went from my studio. house to my parents for like two weeks. I'm like, I gotta bring my stuff so I can do YouTube stuff. And that's a bad Jeez. idea. Damn. So, did you have a normal size tower, just a regular computer? It was it was 
I mean, it was a custom built one, so I mean, it's not like a giant one, but it's pretty big. Well, I mean, I was going to say, you got to get those like large ones now because no one's going to haul that shit out of a truck. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They still will. I, um, They'll find a way. They'll bring a full, forklift. I think I'm going to put, put bricks in it. <laughs> That'll teach them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My old 60 pound computer. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't know. I recently built my own uh i've had it like three months now and it's the first time i've gotten a full tower and they're fucking massive it's like an suv in car comparisons <laughs> i did not expect it to be this fucking huge i gotta lug it every time i move it but it's it's nice it's comfy so i was just wondering if you had ever used those before or any any interesting computer i don't know mods i've actually been shit i've actually been using the asus rog laptops i've been using one of those for like the last two years ever since once i got my truck broken into and they stole that while i was at my parents i was like all right i gotta get something quick so i just ordered a laptop off amazon like a really good one and that shit's been working great for two years so that's all <laughs> that, i'm gonna used. build i'm gonna build a new ROG. one soon though i feel the a laptop yes. rog as well charlie i used to and then i i I lost that poor and boy. And his truck got broken into. <laughs> well, I mean, Wait, you lost it? No, like it died. Like it stopped working. Right, yeah. Like I lost it like on a corporeal level. Now, yeah. Charlie, which one of your seven laptops was that? Yeah, knowing you, you probably just broke one of the USB ports and called it a day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know that, me. That's, oh. that's what I do yeah. sometimes. You break something and troubleshoot, you can't figure it out. You just, you just buy a new one. It just saves you the headache. Well, here's a little fun fact. The people that live in the apartment complex here, one of them is so rich that I saw him drop his phone and the battery flew out. He just left it there and bought a new one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bought a new That's phone. That's the way to live battery. life right there. Yeah. God damn, I'm jealous. He, he drives around and... Well, yeah, I picked it up. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's a free battery. Car gets a flat tire. He just burns it on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> he drives around in a solid gold Mustang. I think what? it's a Mustang. Caf- it's either a Mustang it's, or a Camaro. Wait, it's solid painted gold. gold, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's solid, solid, solid gold. gold. Pa- painted like, gold. Holy yeah. shit. No, yeah. No, painted gold. If it gold. was solid gold, it wouldn't Jesus. fucking move. Yeah, no, no. I meant uh, painted a lot gold. It'd be paint- the most yeah. expensive object on the fucking planet. No, yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty hefty in price, but no, it's oh painted gold. <laughs> Not made out of gold. What does he feel it with? Diamonds? Fuck. <laughs> huh. Why does he live in your shitty apartment complex, then? Because he goes... <laughs> He goes to the university that's walking distance, and I guess he just figures he can just live here. Why not? Instead of buying the, the university. Whole complex. Yeah, What's why up? not yeah. buy the university? I mean, yeah, he probably owns a, a hefty portion of it. He probably owns the hotel, or the fucking apartment complex, and just rents it out. He he, he, mo- he moves around on uh, rollerblades quite often. That's always kind of fun to watch. <laughs> Is his father John Rollerblade or something? I'm just. How did he get all this money? Is it just his, his parents are wealthy? A lot or? of the people that go to the, a lot of the people that go to the university are from like international <laughs> students, and they're very, very, very wealthy. Shit. Yeah. Mm. This guy turned into here. a gossip session. It's nice. Yeah. Speaking of defending themselves, Tyler, do you know any hand to hand combat? <laughs> do I know any hand to hand combat? <laughs> yes, or something else interesting you could tell us about? No, like I never, I never did like karate. Never done any kind of any any kind of. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter. Okay, I'm a lover. That's why they not took you to the fight. You know? need to learn. Do you know yeah. any hand to hand loving techniques? So you saw him running away, and we're like, "I love you." <laughs> no, I didn't even see him. I, I we went and we were eating steak. It was at like a Texas road a Texas Roadhouse in Kentucky. Bad idea. Don't ever stop there. Just get fast food and get the fuck out of there. But yeah, we were in there for like 45 minutes. Walked out and it was gone. I didn't even have a chance to defend myself. Now that my you computer. say it, Shit. there would be a really good scheme where the restaurant on- owner uh, works with the thieves. Just he calls he up his body like, he "Oh, was... I, yeah, I just gave him the schnitzels. You're you're good to yeah, go. Rob him." I mean, the useless. problem with that though is that if people keep getting broken into when they go to your <laughs> restaurant, they're gonna stop going to the fucking yeah. restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going but... there again. I drive past that shit all the time. Never stopping. Never, never again. Burn it down. Jesus. That, see, you have to do it on a on some restaurant that's like a past 
by highway, like next to the highway, so you don't actually have return customers in the first place. That's that's exactly what it's it was. Always it was like out right of next to an interstate. That yeah, you might be smart. onto something. That I mean, like you a might you might have barrel. just uncovered. Yeah, no wonder. Like holy shit, police never found nothing. Conveniently, the security cameras couldn't see shit. Like oh it was awful. oh yeah, so here oh. we go. We we oh, could make out the, the vehicle. Said, it was a white turn? SUV, and there was like three people. But yeah, conveniently, you couldn't see any. You know, license plate, you can't see faces or nothing. Yeah, it was awful. Fucking no, this goes down. I think it's a scheme. I think you're right. This guy. This is a fucking conspiracy theory. Yeah, the police are in on it. Jesus, they're on the take. <laughs> All of Kentucky's in on it. <laughs> the like, Texas Chainsaw they really Massacre need a new town. Kikita. The, the entire town in Kentucky's like Tyler's coming. All right, places. They're all inbred <laughs> hicks. They just they love this weird gig they do. Instead of eating like, strangers, like, they uh, just rob them. <laughs> hills have eyes, but yeah, the hills have yeah. computers. <laughs> Sounds more like um, Silent Hills. That's true. The Silent Hill is the one with the weird church people. Yeah. Yeah. I've only ever seen the movie. I, I've I never seen know them. nothing about the games. I've never seen uh, them. The movies are okay. They get worse, but the first one's pretty neat. The game? They're, they're, no, the, the movie. The Silent oh. Hill movie. Yeah, as far as yeah. I remember, I liked it too. I thought it was cool. But the games are incredible at least the first couple ones like one th- two and three are fucking amazing i thought they were bad now <laughs> like they've aged all no. right but they're still playable they're still good no, i meant the most recent titles are just horrendous oh yeah no the new ones are awful the new ones are real bad they 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 Which try to because the- resident evil nailed action horror and someone was like to make profit margins we got to do that too so they just add shitty combat and really dumb plots when did the last they one just, come out? What was it? Down uh, Tyler, you know that off the top of your head, right? What well, is I mean, it? Of course, yeah. It came out uh, December 21st of, uh, what, 2011? No, I'm just bullshit. It doesn't sound I, unbelievable. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right? That's, you just got to bullshit. You just got to sound believable. Ooh, so Take close. You were really? March 13th, 2012. Yeah, I knew the 2012. Oh, That's three months. Just yeah. within a few months. I was just a few yeah. months off. Yeah. Yeah. It's close really to speaking of uh speaking of video games, Tyler, what are some of your favorites or even more of a better question, what are some that you've played lately that you think suck? Or an even oh, shit. an even better question that really fits our podcast. Have you ever masturbated during any of these games? That too. Yeah. I honestly can't think of a game I've masturbated during. I feel like that's You're that's, lying. That, that that's an occasion that calls for it's mm. you know, no other distractions. So you don't play um hentai games then? Yeah, we can rule yeah, that. No, I haven't played, you I haven't played uh, the art. what's that called? Honey Pop or whatever. I haven't played that shit, you know. No, no, that's not hentai. Honey, <laughs> honey Pop's fucking... It's, come on. It the is. is hentai is what? An, anime pornography. That's exactly what it is. That's pussy shit. Hey, you don't you deserve. You deserve them, to though. have your computer taken for that. Because well, <laughs> I haven't played it? I yeah, haven't played exactly. it. Exactly. No, no, no. no. Oh, Tyler, little do you know they were installing Honey Pop on it and mailing it back to you. What? I changed all my passwords, so they can't. they can't get into my Steam or anything. Tell that was the other us. nightmare that I had to change every password. Oh fuck! I didn't even realize that. That would suck. Did you not yeah, have yeah. a password on the actual computer? Yeah, what? I did, but I mean, just in case. I, mean, I don't know if they yeah. can get in there. You know, I don't want them oh, to. Yeah. You know, because like my YouTube auto logged in, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. Well, so, yeah, no, there's no what chance here. Yeah. What is your <laughs> YouTube password? Uh, no, I, I don't think I can say that. Shit. He's learned. <laughs> <laughs> He's adapted. We almost got him. Damn it! <laughs> really close. We'll try Call the boys in Kentucky. Minutes. Call the boys in Kentucky. This Little do you know, failure. while you're on this podcast, our friends are robbing your car again. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So, okay, <laughs> still for those of us who don't know, who might not know in the audience, what the hell is Honey Pot? Is it one of those hentai <laughs> no, Biobu games? It's, it's, it's Honey, honey Pop. Pop. Yeah. Honey, Pop. It's a what? P at the yeah. end. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's like Candy Crush, but with semi, semi semi naked. Yeah, you, you play Candy Crush, play and then when you win, you get to see their vaginas and shit. You don't but, uh, you get to see them censored because it's on Steam and Steam is Puritans. Wait, it, it is censored? I always thought people is, just yeah, did that. There's, no, there's two <laughs> versions. There's so there's it, I might be thinking Why of a different do you game, know but so it's much very about similar. This? <laughs> because Kaya, I jack off 18 hours a day. So anyway, there's two versions of the game, and one of them is like you go in the options and you hit it for censorship, and apparently you can stream it on Twitch, but only if that mode is on. And it's super censored, and the Steam version comes automatically censored. I might be thinking of a different game. So no, I think you're right. Info. Yeah, basically this- they just move like curtains and bubbles in front of the asses. 
I don't think, right. I don't think, I don't think uh, the uncensored version is too graphic, though. No, it's yeah, not. It's, it's just a little more cleavage and a little more butt. Yeah, it's mm. also cartoon ass. Why censor that? Yeah, that too. It's a single line. <laughs> There's no vor or anything, so it's not interesting. <laughs> Tyler, are you into vor? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's wow. that's the sexual when, act of swallowing people. Yeah. The sexual act of swallowing people, that's the thing. Like, basically... Yeah, it's as if I... Like, you could jack off watching Attack on Titan. Think of it that way. No. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not into that, no. That's the no, right answer. Casa. <laughs> that is the right answer, yeah. What about macrophilia? Macrophilia? Yeah. That one. Yeah. What, what the fuck is that? It's, it's giant it, people. It's when you're in, like, Crushing. Godzilla-sized sex. Godzilla sized sex. <laughs> what does that Cra- mean? Crashing up the buildings well, and shit. I thought maybe it was just you were into programmable buttons on keyboards or something. <laughs> <laughs> Push this button and I come. Yeah. Oh. I'm oh. sure there are yeah, people five. who do that too. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably I also wouldn't not be in the least. I wouldn't be surprised about any kink anymore. Yeah. Being honestly. I, I don't think there's a single kink out there where I don't get why it's sexy. I can see like the what? sexual appeal of pretty much all of them. What? No, no I didn't no, say no. that. Yeah, none of no, us said that, that yeah. Andrew. If I told you, I said if, that. That's my opinion. Oh. That's nonsense. <laughs> that's not your Jesus. opinion. You're wrong. You, you're not allowed to have that opinion. I'm gonna do a Neil deGrasse Tyson on you. You're not allowed to believe that. But if I, if someone told you, for instance, hey Andrew, I, I really get a hard on for sticking my dick in a toaster. Uh, <laughs> explain to me why that is hot, and Toasters how you would understand warm. it. <laughs> so just they're warm and they have a slot I mean you, you get me. a nice when you first go in and it's not on it's cold and then you turn you get to feel it like heat up I, yeah. I can understand that exactly you gotta the remember the sensation fetishes, of changing temperatures yeah yeah except it's a tiny the slit primal fuck, dude who cares fetishes are the most primal fucking thing in your brain the less you explain about them the more they make sense it's contradictory no. it's true well, that, that's, that's a platitude <laughs> So, so look, if I go, look, it's a hole and it gets really warm, then you go, okay, that makes sense. But if I go, it's a hole and it gets warm and it's on a toaster, then you go, oh, well, you know, that doesn't work. <laughs> yes, because that's a crucial detail. It is a pretty big right. detail. Yeah. If, yeah. I, if I, I like up, fucking right, pussies, look. it's different than I like fucking metal holes that get steaming hot and <laughs> yeah, that'll smoke like my dick. Hole and there's a 50-50 chance that it's a vagina or a toaster. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what if I took a toaster, I warmed it up to perfect vaginal temperature, and put you a blindfold on you? <laughs> I like the You're telling me it's I a, wouldn't know that that, is, that that shit's a toaster. Exactly. Oh, I wonder who I'm it fucking. It doesn't matter. Is, is this Jenny the Cyborg from the Nickelodeon series? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that the toaster would go into the broader category of object philia or whatever it is, where you get attracted to inanimate objects. My life is a teenage toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Te- teenage flashlight, yeah. But... I mean, I, I can get any, like, uh, certain inanimate objects. I mean, there's people who have those waifu pillows or whatever, right? Yeah. Sure, but That's a toaster? Weird. I mean, it, it all depends on how the, perf- the person anthropomorphizes <laughs> it. It's what human traits they pull out of the object. But you're assuming that they're looking for anthropomorphic traits, that they, they want it to like be a toaster. toaster. Maybe, maybe they're into it because it's what, not What traits human. are you going to get from a toaster? Just the warm It's hole. warm! That's yes. it's metal. It's <laughs> That's warm. That's all some people want. The bar is so low. Yeah. It's warm. Yes, it is. That's <laughs> my point. My point yeah. is the bar for sexuality is the lowest fucking thing you'll ever find. Nothing goes uh, lower than what people will jack off to. I don't think it period. goes down that low. Where That's it's just true. one individual trait that is. Nah, he's, he's got a human. point. Charlie I mean, and there's I, people who jack off to toasters. You know the brave little toaster? Why is there rule 34 of that? No, no, no. Okay, hang on. You're changing the argument. Yeah, I, I nev- we never were arguing about whether there are people who do that, but I'm just saying, can you argue for it and explain why you think sure? Not Which you're kind of doing, but I don't know. I, 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 there really are so many kinks the, that just don't make sense. Exactly. At the end of the day, it's not going to make complete sense, but it's. I, I'm saying I can get some of the rationale behind it. That's all. I can't... I, well, legitimize yeah, the, it, the or rationale explain is, it, but I can get some of the idea behind it. We truly yeah, hope I, we haven't offended any toaster fucking enthusiasts out there. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> called strudels, Charlie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope we didn't misgender any toasters. 
Oh boy. So anyway, back to Tyler's most hated video games of the year. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a question. <laughs> Man, I don't I don't know. I don't play as many like games as I used to. I'm kind of like confide to the ones I record and outside of that like I feel like I don't want to do anything video game related now like yeah but I have been like as far as games I like that I've been playing that I don't upload that I've been enjoying uh I really like City Skylines because I'm a fucking nerd and I just I don't know I just nerd out and build a city it's a good game but it is it is pretty good but it's fun I'm trying to think of ones that I hate Okay, let's make it easier. I hate a lot of games. That's that? the problem. Is is I just anticipate a lot of games sucking, and I just don't play them. Like, Welcome to my world. But let's <laughs> like, try I this. Just, like, I get that. What is a game that you think sucks, but everyone else loves? That is culturally considered a great game yeah. that you uh, might not like at all. Overwatch. I don't really. I'm not a fan. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, agree. I don't think. I don't think the game sucks. I just. I don't enjoy it. I don't I think agree. the game sucks. The other one though is Destiny. I think Destiny sucks, dick. I don't. And agree. I don't understand how so many people like it, but. <laughs> Dude, they, the Destiny couple. makes me up. Destiny upsets me because conceptually, I think it's awesome, but all I've heard is the gameplay is really repetitive and boring. It yeah, but it's a loot the, game. Honestly, I think the problem with Destiny is it doesn't have the right ingredients, which is why this week we're happy to announce Blue Apron <laughs> slash <laughs> Special, <laughs> where you'll yeah, always get beautiful. the right ingredients. That was fucking smooth. He could have he could have done it during the toaster, but no, yeah. that was the right time. <laughs> that would have been smarter. Yeah. This is the perfect time. Good job, Charlie. <laughs> Thanks. Well, now that you've brought this up, Charlie, tell me more. Well, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you're in for it. The freshest <laughs> ingredients every time delivers fresh ingredients to your <laughs> fresh. Wait, 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 wait. Fresh house. So the freshest <laughs> ingredients, the ingredients every time deliver delivers themselves. the freshest ingredients every time delivers fresh ingredients. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's uh, just a this giant is revolutionary carrot. shit. <laughs> it's a, it's just a good system they've got there. You know. Are you? All right, so if you want fresh ingredients delivered to your door, if you don't want to go out and shop every time and then forget all the es- essential ingredients and end up making disgusting pasta to eat like a 12-year-old student, what you do is you go to blueapron.com slash official, you sign up, and you get fresh ingredients that you can cook. You don't have to be able to cook. You don't have to be a good cook. You don't even know have to know how to cook. They send you a recipe, which is different every time, and you can prepare the meals in under 40 minutes, money-back guarantee, and... That's about it. If you're a student, it's a good deal. It's ten dollars or less per meal, per person, and that's about it. It's fresh, in- fresh ingredients, so you know what's actually in the food. You don't have to play guessing games, or you also don't have to sit at, at some drive-through restaurants where your car will yeah. get robbed. That's mm-hmm. a plus. <laughs> yeah. So go to blueapron.com/official. Don't forget the slash official. That's how you get the deal, and that's you all they know. Get, we sent here. You can get. You can get your uh, first three meals free, I believe, with free shipping that's by going true. to that link. That's true. You get your first three meals free, so that's the deal no one would say no to. Plus, I would like to re- reiterate, you do not get robbed. That's that's just a prime <laughs> service only Blue Apron offers. Blueapron.com slash official. Theft protection. I, I nailed it. We're good to go. Tyler, I, I actually have an interesting <laughs> question here. One that okay. pertains to more than fucking toasters and misturbatory video games and such i i did a little research beforehand to come up with some good questions and i came across an old article Cheater. that you might not want to be talking about it might be uncomfortable or not but it i read that you tried to dabble in the rap game under the name pimp master flex hard do you want to tell us a little about that uh oh shit man yeah no i didn't think that that would come up yeah so pimp master flex hard you say well yeah that was your title yeah yeah it was Man, those were those were the days, man. Yeah, I was, you know, before the YouTube game, I was just trying to think of ways because I was unemployed, you know, not making any money. So I came up with what was what the fuck was the name again? No, I'm not a rapper. I never rapped. I I actually did make a rap song though one time with my buddy, but mm-hmm. no, I'm not no yeah, pimp Charlie, you master mixed flex up. That was me. <laughs> It seems the Wall Street Journal's reporting was a bit off. Then I'm sorry. No, what a shocker. <laughs> Really? They're they usually like rock up. solid. Oh yeah, they're usually right on the money. Oh, of course. So Anyone once again, up? that's blueapron.com slash official. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Andrew's just so discouraged now he doesn't even want to talk about anything yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm wondering, Tyler, is you still play Call of Duty, it seems, yeah? 
Uh, just you recently, looked them yeah. up again. I mean, every. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, says, but not really. You sound like a just disgusted FBI officer. Like, oh, Tyler, I see. Uh, you've been watching some of yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I'm like, shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I feel shamed. I feel shamed about it. But I mean, well, no, my, yeah, my follow up question was i'm just wondering did you get back into it or are you getting into it really hard for the first time because i i figured that most people around our age and doing this kind of stuff kind of really don't go for call of duty anymore well well like that's that's, that's where judgmental. i started uh like my youtube <laughs> stuff like a lot of mm-hmm. you know like a lot of other gaming channels it started with call of duty and that was like in black ops one or something like that played a lot of black ops one modern warfare three black ops two and then Ghost came out and like, I was like, fuck that. And then right around the time Ghost came out, uh, GTA came out too. And then that's like what me and my friends really got into. And then from there we got into like Gmod and then now we just don't play Call of Duty hardly at all anymore. But then no offense Black to Ops 2 became, schoolers. yeah, but then Black Ops 2 became backwards compatible on Xbox One. And like that was one of my favorite games. So we've been playing that a little bit, but, but yeah, that's about yeah. it. Well, what what brought you back to it? Was it like a nostalgia fuel, said, or was it, it? It was just because it like because it, they made it backwards compatible. Like I don't know, the community kind of like oh everybody yeah, rushed back yeah. into the game, so it like brought new life into the game again. So like okay. there's a bunch of people playing. Everybody like a lot of people have mics. Yeah. It just feels like the way it did back in 2012, 2013 when I played it. Um, right. And then also like the new Call of Duty coming out, I'm actually kind of excited for the World War World II. World II. That, yeah. that, that should be pretty cool because I that really looks exciting. Didn't enjoy a lot of the last ones, but yeah, I don't like the futuristic ones. No, I think the last one I played was with you, Andrew, when we played Modern Warfare Three for a couple days. Oof. Oh yeah, and you hated it. I yeah, and I didn't like it. it if you're watching this Infinity all. Ward, I'm not a fan, but you can still come on the podcast and defend yourself while I insult your work. Oh, I'm I'm not a fan of Infinity Ward either. Take that. Like made all, they I feel like they've made all the shittiest ones, Ghosts, and then Infinite Warfare. Okay. Infinite Warfare is so bad. Yeah, they awesome made much. Modern Warfare 2 and 1. Yeah, two yeah, but that was the old Infinity Ward, and then they fell apart. And then yeah, what was left, true. what was left kind of like conjured up Modern Warfare 3 based off of stuff they had already done. Well, and then when it was time for them to make their own with Ghosts, it was just, I did not like it, was, it at all. Well, it was I mean, dreadful. Well, yeah. half of it was uh, made by Sledgehammer, I think, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and Sledgehammer. And they went to make uh, Advanced Warfare. Yeah, and although Advanced Warfare is like super crazy, like, they did yeah. do a good job though, like, but the game yeah, itself think, is like uh, not Call of Duty. It's different. I but. think the old Infinity War went on to make Titanfall one and two, yep. which well, I'm sad those never caught on because I think uh, those games are fucking great. Well, Titanfall, Titanfall two, Titanfall they, like, 2 didn't was even give amazing. a chance. They didn't even give it a chance though. The e- way they released EA it, they fucked it over. Yeah, EA yeah. fucked yeah. it Battlefield over. One in yeah, the same Yeah, they released weekend. it like yeah. When did they they did it like in between two games? They did it like right after Battlefield one and then like right mm-hmm. before. Titanfall or something like that. Titanfall two yeah. had one of the best campaigns in f- like first person shooter history. I loved it. Every second of it was fun. I have have not played it. I also oh, they like, played they an they hour like, of didn't it hype it up at all. Yeah, I just like We're, the multiplayer a lot. The multiplayer is also really good, but the campaign was really good. I enjoyed it. Guy, have you ever played Call of Duty? I don't think you. I don't. I don't think no. you ever have. I didn't think so. You're not no. missing much. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe back know. in the day he was, but currently no. Modern Warfare Two, some of the most fun I've had in multiplayer with friends and stuff. It's insanely what, fun. Yeah, I owe a lot to Modern Warfare One and Two. Mm-hmm. Back when it was a novel concept, fresh and fun. Those yeah, were some yeah, good here times. We are now. I I right, really chill. miss old Xbox Live when everyone was just insulting each other. It was like the wild, wild <laughs> west of creative insults. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. I was 10 years old when I first got Xbox Live for Halo 2. Oh my god, the amount of shit I heard back then. It was amazing. <laughs> it was a whole new world. Oh, it opened my eyes. <laughs> that's probably why my, that's why my voice got so deep. I just had to adapt. <laughs> Yeah, you had to otherwise you just got shit on yeah that's that's yeah, that evolution did. right there yeah, it is. Yeah. as soon as he signed on his testicles dropped what do, <laughs> what do you think happened to the like i don't know it's become a lot more boring on like xbox Live. It's, no one's talking because of the xbox one man the xbox one's just a bad console like they yeah. they i forget what they did but they made it so you had to have some like specific cable to like chat like to to have a headset that worked so like all your old stuff on 360 didn't really convert over and Mm. then like 
I don't know. And then like a lot of the the games, like oh oh, it's the party system. The party system that they made, like you don't have it. Like it works separate from the game, I believe. So like in Call of Duty, like if you played Search and Destroy, it would force everybody in the game chat. Well, with this, like anybody can be in party chat. Like it doesn't matter. So like you have people just kind of in their own groups talking. I thought, I thought nobody you could is really... do that on the 360 as well, though. I thought the party system no, still existed then. On yeah, you have the party system, but in certain game modes, like it would force you into game chat, and because like. I don't know. I guess maybe on 360 it was just easier for people to go back and forth, but yeah. I don't know. Xbox One has the worst UI I've ever seen in the world. Oh, it's, it's so dreadful. bad. It's if you're so listening bad. to this, Microsoft, I hate it. And you're welcome to come on here and defend your points if you'd like, but I don't like you. <laughs> they, they would have none. They would have not a single point. Well, 80% of Fucking the space is either black screen or advertisements. Yeah. It's dreadful. It is the worst UI. That would be their only point is that this optimizes ad space. Yeah, that's one reason, that's one reason I gave up on next gen consoles having fucking ads thrown in everywhere. It's just the worst. PS4's it's, been fine. Yeah, yeah so PS4 I don't feel like there's too good. many on PS4. Yeah. Well, I mean, now I know where I'm going. Kaya, how's the, the game? Bo- how's the Game Boy doing on ads? Are they still keeping that pretty clean? <laughs> the Game Boy. The game Boy. Yeah, well, I just realized over there. What's the, no? The they still haven't put any on the old Advance SP. You know, there's no no ads on yeah. that. Yeah. What what is the last console you own, Kai? I don't. Have you ever had a game console? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, game but not stuff. anymore. I had a yeah. 3DS, the original one, that the fat beefy one. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was it. That, that had some good games. Oh, I mean, it has great games. It's just the console itself is an unwieldy fucking shit house. Did any of you guys growing up ever play those old PC educational games like a uh, Wishbone yep. and Fourth Grade, Fifth Grade, those things? Yes. Yeah. What was the no. one with the car? I don't, know if, I don't remember them, but I, I know I, I can picture the cover of the disc. Like, yeah, well, not the disc, but the case. I can picture it, but I don't remember actually ever playing any of them. Oh, they were. They were I fun. remember playing I like a... Candyland and like the Tonka games. Ooh, Those are my shit. The Tonka games. The Tonka games, dude. I the no joke. Like six or seven months ago, I went on YouTube and watched someone play through the fucking Tonka construction game. Just like there was like the most, I don't know, like the craziest nostalgia trip ever. It was like. I completely zoned into like being seven years old again. It was pretty crazy. I always wanted to play those the games. Tonka games, but the I always thought they were like for real construction workers, so my parents wouldn't get <laughs> <them> for me. <laughs> it's like flight simulation. <laughs> yeah, pretty it's much. Teaching purposes only. I was like, if st- I was the stupidest kid, like what I saw on TV commercials, like I always thought that was real life. So when they'd advertise like Beyblades and shit, I'd be beyond disappointed when they didn't tear a hole in the time continuum. Oh, that's uh, what we all did. That's what they advertised to children. Those yeah, scumbags. But I, f- I feel like I was far more impressionable than most. Does Does anyone remember I, the uh, like the adventure game with the Carmen the Sandiego human car? I don't, oh. I don't know what that is. Putt putt. The human. C- yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Putt putt. Gonna drive me insane. I speed ran yeah. that game. I'm 12th place. Did you? Really? Yeah. Putt putt goes to the zoo. I think I'm 12th place. At least I was at one point. Uh, it saves the zoo. Or, it's, uh, yes. or, is, that, or is that a sequel? <laughs> no, no, no the, Charlie did right. goes to the zoo. That's why he's in 12th place. <laughs> he was the I one of 12 that. people who played it. I just got showed up at my own my own thing there, tooting yes. my own horn, and he corrected the game title. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of Putt-Putt games. That's the only one that I knew, the zoo one. Yeah, it, it was oh, a good yeah. game. Putt-Putt's a big deal. Kai, you ever play Putt-Putt? <laughs> nah. Putt-Putt like sounds like a golfing game, though. Yeah, I feel like we're on a topic you can't chime in on very heavily, because Turkey yeah. didn't have second or fourth grade. That's fine. <laughs> As soon as you're out of kindergarten, you're out in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Working Your degree nine, comes with nine to five job after kindergarten. <laughs> Your degree comes with an AK-47. Uh, it's Omar, the child gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> what did the gyno uh, say? Well, he said that I have herpes, and then he asked for a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh tyler what were you expecting from this podcast i'm just curious i didn't think (laughs) that that exact sentence would be said you have herpes and i need a coloring book checkmate we got him (laughs) i'm surprised you wouldn't expect that actually most of the people do and then they get disappointed when we talk about serious things 
Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Our last guest came in here braced for like a bunch of cum and wiener stuff, and then we tried to be more serious. <laughs> we didn't do a lot of serious stuff. He was disappointed. Nah, it, wasn't. It, was, it was balanced. Yeah, was it, it the was... episode with Bioshock? Yeah, no, uh, that was... No, with, no the one before with that. Alec, with Alex. That was after. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, yeah, yeah, all right, I remember. Tyler, yeah. I, got a, I got a more involved than actual legitimate question. So you do a shitload of stuff with GTA. If... So Used hypothetically- to. Not so much okay. anymore, but you continue. Uh, but Thank but God. I mean, you've, you've got a lot into it. I'm guessing, did you give it up because you kind of got tired of it, or what? What was the reason for moving on? W- from was it a view drop Pretty off? much, like, we played it for, like, two or three years. No, the views are still good on it. It's just, like, there's no reason to... Like, we've literally almost done everything. We, like, we've done, like, almost every glitch, and they patched all of them. Like, uh, you, know, you name something possible in that game, and we've probably done it and uploaded a video on it. Did you go to the okay. top of Mount Chiliad? Of course. We, we we went to the top of Mount Chiliad, and then you ride a BMX bike down it, you jump, and then if you fly, you glide the bike at a certain angle, you can, like, fly infinitely far. Like, that's, that's like, like the extent specific. of some of the shit we did. There's, like, crazy glitches like that that we did. Yeah, there, we've done, like, everything. So we only did, play it if, like, a new update comes out that actually has, like, interesting stuff that we can play yeah. around with, like, new did cars they, or new guns. or. Uh, what do you think about the GTA YouTube community? Because there's a lot of weird people <laughs> yeah, out there. There's a yeah. lot of, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of, like, Kyle weird loves people? it. Pretty, pretty cringeworthy shit. Like, back, like, all we ever did was we just played the game and uploaded anything we found funny or interesting. Like, you know, we never did any, like, you know, tutorials on how to do this or that or anything. Like, that's all we ever did. So, we really yeah. didn't, we were, like, a part of the GTA community, but only, like, that aspect of it. Like, we didn't. By proxy. Yeah, pretty much. Like it was so, just kind of well, our group, and then whatever bullshit we got up to in the game. Oh, it's what a dis- is the weird community. It's di- it's disgusting, Jackson. Oh my god, uh, I remember it. I don't point- even know what it is these days because, like I said, like we don't really play it consistently enough to even like be in that community hardly anymore. But J- like, the, I don't know what, what stuff it. are they I, doing now? Yeah, what stuff are they doing now? Jackson and I are completely clueless. Tell us about it. Yeah. I, I, and Kai is probably comatose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, he's still awake. But uh, his I've, heart's still pumping. I've gone through like a lot of GTA channels because they make some laughably bad videos, and I like to just look at those throughout YouTube, like shitty gym advice, you know, put creatine in your asshole to get your blabtubius up to code and all that shit. And GTA <laughs> supplies me with some of the worst shit. There's one guy. I don't know if you're friends with this guy. If you are, I'm sorry to call him out like this, or I'm sorry that you're a friend of his. But his name is Lispy Jimmy. All he does is take like his. No, pl- yeah, yeah. <laughs> All he does is take. Go ahead, his, go ahead. He takes his PlayStation into like McDonald's or Walmart, and then just gets really loud about how he's playing GTA and how extreme it is. In one of his videos, he filmed it right after like someone gave him a bunch of hickeys. I don't think he had sex or anything. I think his friend just sucked on his neck so he'd look cool. And then he just went out there <laughs> to show off his hickeys and be really loud about playing GTA in a Walmart. It's amazing. It was really hard to watch. Lispy Jimmy, if you're watching it, I didn't like your content. Please don't come on the podcast, though. Just take it from the gym. (laughs) Lispy Jimmy, if you know Infinity Ward, please get them on the podcast. I know who you're talking about, and I did not know that that's the type of stuff he did now. But he used to... I don't remember what specifically he used to do. But, like, back in the day, like, I don't know, we we never got along. Because I'm sure he did some Uh, stupid videos back then that probably triggered me and my friends. It's horrendous. Her- horrendous <laughs> he even he like prank calls rockstar asking about gta 6 sometimes too and he fucking well pow- yeah you gotta get gta 6 in the title that's why oh, god and then he puts like four or five different ads per video so every time he plugs in his playstation you get a new fucking ad <laughs> i wonder if rockstar thinks he's special or something they're just like yes jimmy it's coming <laughs> <laughs> they know that he's calling they have him on speed dial <laughs> Oh god, it's Jimmy again. Someone else take this one. Get get, get <laughs> Carolyn. She has the most patience. Uh, I'm looking at like some of his videos from like four months ago, and literally like within five or six videos on themselves, there's like six that are titled GTA Six. One is GTA Six London. There one is, is GTA Six release date. One is the GTA Six main character. One is GTA Six USA. One is GTA Six early. One is GTA Six canceled. I, I bet they're all over. <laughs> shit like that like always One second. Like, I bet they're all one second over ten minutes or something. Oh shit. no! Hold on. I, I accidentally clicked away. I clicked away. Hold on. Let me find it. They they it's were. Like the they were Alex like, Jones of GTA. <laughs> Except Alex Jones is infinitely more entertaining than this dweeb. Like this I, I didn't is- plan on like coming on here and like putting anybody on blast, but at the same time, it's like you do shit like this, you kind of have it coming. 
Oh yeah, like, we got 10 minutes and 10 seconds, 10 minutes and 19, 10 minutes and 18, 10 minutes and 19, 10 minutes 23, 10 minutes 8, 10 minutes 27. Oh yeah, yeah not, a, not a video under 10 minutes. Wow. It's true, like, of all, the con- of all the content creators that I, like, watch, or, or not content creators, communities that I watch just for the fun of bad videos, GTA 6 supplies me with the worst. Or, um, GTA 5, sorry, that's not out yet, but we can put that in the title now. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. GTA, GTA, GTA 6, 6. cancelled. Yeah, it's coming, Jimmy. That is, that is the name of this episode, GTA 6. With Rockstar employee Tyler. Well, Charlie, is he worse than that, uh... Is he worse than that other guy that I showed you guys? Yes. The guy? Yes, Andrew. Are, are you sure? Is that guy... No, Andrew, uh, he's the uh, epitome of a goober. When you think of goober, you're thinking of this <laughs> Jimmy. Goober. When I think of goober, I think of a South Dakota mom trying to be polite. Well, you have well, a weird him. imagination. <laughs> Making the house, you goober. <laughs> yeah, you goobers. Come on, supper's ready. It's beans and franks. <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I, I... I don't know how to put this. I, the, You guys going on about shitty YouTubers is really... You guys are poking the bear because I kind of <laughs> promised these guys not to go on rants about how much I resent YouTubers and just the entire YouTube community and everyone on it. Oh, I... I this is a topic I can get behind. I'm down with this. <laughs> I don't want to burn bridges, yeah. though. That's the only yeah, problem. Yeah, Tyler, we don't, we don't want to offend you, but Kaya uh, ranted about how much he hates your content for 30 minutes before you came oh, yeah? on. It was really awkward. Oh, yeah? Did Say he? it to his face, Kaya. Yeah, Say do it, it to pussy. his face, Kaya. Do it, pussy. <laughs> I didn't. I, you I tell me my videos aren't about. fucking masterpieces? Get <laughs> the oh, fuck out of here. You're telling me you didn't like his video, GTA 6 confirmed? Leaked yeah. footage? I worked hard on that to get it to 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he had to beg for those likes all by himself. It's a lot of effort that goes into this, okay? Oh, no, Tyler, no, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. I, I hope you didn't been... actually think I was serious. I mean, no. I was like, maybe he's serious, but if he is, no, like, you know, no. whatever. You know, people can talk shit about whatever they want. No, no regardless how, totally. regardless how just... Kaya comes off, he was not talking shit about you, I assure <laughs> no. you. I, I no, generally no, like our guests it's just the youtube community in general like the people oh in general we, absolutely just talked in about general. It's, oh, yeah. yeah it's such a cesspool i mean if i don't know if, if hitler had killed youtubers instead of jews i would have been fine with them let's put it he that wouldn't way. have anyone to kill idiot <laughs> youtube came out in the 2000s yeah. <laughs> 2005 but yeah on a bigger <laughs> point i just Checkmate. last when did the jews come out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me Google Jews release date real quick. Actually, that's probably not something I want in my search history. So, Ugh. Tyler, then we can we can go into this another question that kind of has to relate to this discussion. Is there any content or any things you've done for content that you really weren't feeling, but you put it out anyway, or things that you were like, "Uh, this is whatever," or things where you felt uncomfortable with what you were yeah. doing on uh, something? Do you release daily? No, I've never been. I mean, there are times where I'll hit like seven or eight or nine days in a row, but usually it's like every other day. And there was a time where yeah. it would be like, you'd be lucky to get a video like once a week from me almost, but mm-hmm. it's about every other day. But I'm trying to think of like anything. I mean, it, it more so a question on that where there was just something. Oh, fuck. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Continue that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's not not that I can think of really like anything. Whereas I don't know, not that I can think of like some some like anytime I gotta do videos like solo like by myself like I don't know I I I kind of struggle with that because I just if I if I like the game I just zone into it I just don't think about anything and if yeah. I don't like the game then I'm I'm just bored. So like if I'm recording solo I'm either just focused on the game and not really saying anything or I'm just bored of it and don't have anything interesting to say so like i don't know i've always just been better at like playing with people and like riffing off shit that they say or they do or whatever that's always what i've been better at so like any kind of solo videos i usually like i don't know i'll record it and i'll be like uh that sucked i'm not gonna upload that sometimes (laughs) like i can't there's probably several like recordings that have been deleted after spending an hour and a half recording by myself i remember that there's nothing i can think of I remember my original train of thought. So if you release basically almost daily or every other day or really, really regularly, do you ever have issues like getting like being on or being funny or on point or any of those or hyping oh, yourself yeah. up into this content? And I want to ask that to Charlie, too, because, Charlie, you upload every single day. And I think it'd be interesting if you told people how you manage that. Well, I, I 100 percent do like there are times because like 
I play with a group, right? So like they, you know, we kind of schedule around like when everybody wants to play. And there are just times where like everybody's wanting to get on and I'm just like, I'm not in a good mood or I just, I'm tired. So I usually just skip out on it. There's never really, I never really feel pressured because I don't upload on a schedule. I never really feel pressured to like record when I don't feel like it. So that'd be nice. I usually mm. tend to just avoid that. <laughs> yeah. I just, mm-hmm. if I'm not feeling it, I just, I'm, I'm going to miss whatever they record that day or. And then but Kai could use that right now. He wants out. <laughs> Charlie, what about you? We, I've, I've asked you about this, but I think on the uh, podcast it'd be decent for you to talk about it. Yeah, now that I'm graduated and, and all that, I just have so much time. So it's just, for me, it's just always fun. I never really have to worry about what mood I'm in or anything, because no matter what mood I'm in, just doing, like, creating something puts me in a good mood. I made a video one time after watching someone overdose and probably die at a, outside of a club, and I was still fine to make a video, just because it's just, like, a, a form of escape for me. It's like a totally a different world. Yeah, cathartic. Did you make a, a video on the overdose? No, that, that'd be disrespectful, Jackson. That, <laughs> that man's no longer with us. This is us. my commentary on the overdose. Let's do this shit. It was actually yeah, a really just, scary thing, though. I don't know if any of you yeah, have ever yeah, seen definitely. someone overdose. It's it's fucking oh, horrifying. Yeah. When you, there's God a damn big it, that was a great between, video I made in his honor. <laughs> there, there's a big he difference been proud. between... Uh, <laughs> he would have loved it. <laughs> there's a big difference between watching people die through a uh, <laughs> secondhand nature, like, like death videos or hearing about it on the news, and actually seeing it in person. Shit yeah, like that. that shit. Oh, my dad oh my saw God. saw two people die like in person. That shit was he he uh, he was driving to work one day and it was like a railroad track. And, like one train went by one direction and then like the uh, the arms lifted and he was getting ready to go, but he was like looking down at his phone or something while he was stopped there. And the car in front of him went once the arms went back up. And just as it started to go, another train like the other direction came. And just drilled the person and like it was him and like his little girl like in his car and they both died. My dad was the only one there. Oh he had to like God. call Holy the ambulance. Shit. The dude wasn't Holy the dude. Fuck. Yeah, the dude wasn't quite like he wasn't completely dead. He was like, I don't know. His head was all fucked up and he was like making these awful noises. He described. I don't want to describe it in detail. It's super fucked up. But yeah, so he like that fucked him up for quite a while because at the time, like my sister, my younger sister was only like seven or eight, you know, so he saw this little girl just get killed and it was like. Yeah, Jesus. I can't. I can't do shit like that. It fucks me up. Yeah, Seeing probably, it in person, that would. God damn. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to make something after that. I mean, at least the overdose. I don't know for sure if he <laughs> if he pulled through or not. You can this just hope. Yeah, train. you can just <laughs> think he did. You know. Yeah, this it, is w- the greatest train crash of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, to the to the if any of you out there watching have ever overdosed in Ebor. Just know one video was at least made that night, and hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> that is sad, though. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. So well, anyway, <laughs> on to the subject of depressing stories. I, th- I think this this was just a general question I had for any episode, and I, I we can let Tyler in on it. What was the last thing to make you cry? <laughs> Ooh, like actually <laughs> cry, like shedding hey, tears. Jackson's excited for this one. Oh, got the perfect Ooh, story. No, I actually, I, I genuinely can't remember the last time I've cried. That That's why I thought it was an interesting question. Anyone. It's a general no. question. Last thing to actually make you cry. Could be pain, could be emotion, but anything. No, I, 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 I tell, yeah, what? absolutely. Anything. I think mine yeah. was my uh, my grandma passed away like a year ago and the, the funeral was just like, like my mom was just super sad and that was like what got to me more than like anything is just how upset my mom was. So that was probably mm. the last thing. That like really made me cry. That was like a year ago, but it's pretty heart wrenching. I'm sorry. To Along the that. same lines as that, I watched Shawshank Redemption. Uh, probably really about, that one. T- yeah, two and a half years ago, and then that one made me cry as well. That makes me cry every single time I've watched it. Like I've watched it maybe wow. five times. Every time, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's an old dude in it who commits suicide basically by hanging himself after being released mm-hmm. from jail because he's been in jail for so long he doesn't know how to like reintegrate himself into society so he just commits suicide and that always made me sad and I cried about two and a half years ago I'd say that's the last time I can remember anyway jeez yeah it was a great yeah. question there Andrew a real zinger <laughs> wait what about you Charlie finish the finish I the think depression. it's an interesting question it is interesting um, Charlie what is it I don't know I have to think I'm pretty sure 
I know I cried one time when I was blackout drunk, but it was over something stupid, and it seems everyone shared a serious story, <laughs> no, so I, really? I won't bother. <laughs> blackout drunk. I mean, if, if, if you want to no if you want to lighten the mood, the last time I cried was watching Wally. How about an embarrassing Shit. time we've cried? That, that we'll, we'll work off of your really depressing question into something interesting. Has anyone <laughs> cried during something really embarrassing? Crying. What I can do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I mean, fulfilling. So, well, I can I can elaborate on mine because I think it's embarrassing. So I cry at the movie Wall-E almost every time I watch it, but it's not during. <laughs> Whoa, <that's laughs> I'm serious. Every time? Yeah, I've Wally's, seen it like four times, Wally's and every time. Like and the problem is, the problem is, what it's pot? not during. Well, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Fuck. So, pot, though, <laughs> so it's not even during one of the emotional scenes. It's during the scene where John, uh, jo yeah. what's his name, the captain, Goodman. No, it's not John Goodman. It's the guy, Jeff Garland. Um, it's where Jeff Garland, whatever, he plays the captain of the ship. It's when he stands up for the first time and challenges the computer to a fight. And I just, I get so emotionally invested. I'm like, come on, man, stand up. You can do it. Fuck that computer. <laughs> and every time, every time that scene comes on, I start tearing up. I'm serious. I don't know what why. What the fuck? I don't know why. I just get really, really emotionally invested in that movie. And as soon as the turning point happens, I start tearing up. Because I'm like, yeah, we did it. <laughs> Good old I love Jeff that and me. Movie. <laughs> Such an Good old me film. and Jeff Garland. I call him every night and I go, you stood up, Jeff. And he's like, you've seen the movie so much, you know. Just please stop calling. <laughs> and he's like, I'm John Goodman. You have the wrong number. <laughs> GTA 6 isn't coming out yet, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's probably super embarrassing. I just, every time, all four times I've seen it. But I'll have fail. you been with anyone while you watched it? Because it's not embarrassing. It's um, not I watched it once with my mom. Oh, that's even more embarrassing than here. I hit, I hit it super hard. I I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 want your mom to see you at your weakest. Yeah, I didn't want her to see. I was I didn't. It was mostly I didn't want to explain it because I I thought I'd sound super stupid. <laughs> But I, I, I literally just said, I've seen this before. I gotta go to the bathroom. And I got up and washed my face. <laughs> Runs up screaming and crying. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I, I love this movie. <laughs> yeah, what, about, what about you, Tyler, Jackson, or Kaya? Anything embarrassing? No, not for me. Not no. any, like, one thing that I could think of. Kaya? No. Okay, well then I'll join Andrew in this club. In eighth grade, during a school dance... The uh, DJ, <laughs> it was a slow song, and then the DJ said, kiss your partner. And the girl I was dancing <laughs> with kissed me on my cheek, and I was so happy I started to cry in front of her. <laughs> oh, I thought you looked and had no partner and started crying on the dance <laughs> That's what I thought it was going. <laughs> oh, no. That's a, that's a happy ending. <laughs> that's a sad one. That's a, so wait, my, after after she kissed you, did you say thanks, Mom? Well, no, I cried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what did you ask? There were, she didn't stick around long enough for me to get any words out behind my sobbing. <laughs> Wait, you were sobbing? <laughs> yeah, well, I was like tearing up. You were, you were well, like that, blubbering? Well, okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I was <laughs> just, just tearing up in a little sniffly. That's <laughs> funny. I was How old were you? Yeah, I was like 18 or eight. 19. Wow. Love, eighth love. grade. That's recent. Jesus like Christ. Eighth grade. Yeah. What, Wait, when you was this child? In eighth grade? You were 18 what? or 19 in 8th grade? How many you years did like, you get held back? No way. You were like 14. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's lying. a joke, Andrew. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, right. It was it a joke every week. single time. Yeah, Jesus. It happened last week. It was a joke. We're just too stupid to get it. Fuck. That's completely uh, Andrew, next level. Andrew was baffled by the logistics. Wait a minute. 18 and 8th grade? <laughs> I was doing the math, too. I'm like, that, that doesn't check out. There's no way. I was about to was compare eighth grade. I wasn't 18. Nobody around me was 18. Yeah, no, I was like, I was, I think I was 12 or 13, somewhere in that ballpark. I mean, I so, knew the math of it, but I wouldn't put it past you, so I kept quiet. Yeah, that's true. So, was, was, uh, this your first kiss, Charlie? No, it wasn't. There was just something about that moment. It was just so special. What was, song was it? <laughs> sounds like you're, Do you remember what sounds song like you're choking was? up now. <laughs> yeah, just, just remembering about it, it's going to make me tear up. I don't remember the song. But god damn it, was it a moving one? And that DJ was a true <laughs> hero. As that song comes on again, he tears up every time. <laughs> every time it comes on, I just break down. <laughs> Such That's a our song, night. he says to himself as he thinks about a 12-year-old girl.
<laughs> oh, Jesus. And, and of course, it was the most popular song at the time, so Eiffel 65's I'm Blue is now the song that makes him tear up. Uh, <laughs> those, those, so, Tyler. Those were great if, days. Yes. Remember the, the old middle school dances, guys? You remember those? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. have any. Oh. No, I remember them. They were shit. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> they it were like, so... <laughs> The Go boys ahead. would stay on the left side of the gym and the girls would stay on the other side, basically. It was really cliche. Eventually, oh. we'd meet up in the center, though, and dance. I won a break dancing like was... competition there. Oh, Did damn. You? Yeah. But only because I committed most of it. Did you cry it. afterwards? Well, I, no, no, that wasn't you got too handed the trophy. That wasn't too special to me. I actually only won, like, a $10 gift card to Toys R Us. But uh, the only what? reason I won is because no one else really took it seriously. Like, I, I made it, like, a mission... I like dropped down on the floor and did like a spin on my tailbone. <laughs> he knew about that shit like three months ahead of time. <laughs> like, Practicing away, prep the routine, <laughs> and it worked. He got that girl to kiss him on the cheek. Yeah, that's why I got the kiss. The only reason <laughs> she's like my hero. <laughs> Take me to Toys R Us or whatever it was. Only using me for the gift card. Yeah. So Tyler. This can warp into a uh, actually relatable topic. Then, what do you have any just embarrassing stories for us in general? Or better uh, yet, I mean, I'm sure I, I'm sure I do, but I can't. No, yeah, no. I guess there was one. There was there, there was one like pretty recently. I um, I, I got like a staph infection on my ass. Ooh. <laughs> that Ooh. was that was kind of that was kind of embarrassing to have to go in and like have a doctor fiddle around with your ass, and he had to like, you, they have to like. You know, it had like a cyst. They have to like pop that shit. Ooh. So like this doctor just squeezing away at my ass cheek. My girlfriend sitting in the room with me. Oh, and God. then he has to like, then they have to like put this packing shit in it. Cause they, they like cut it and they make a big ass hole. Let's put like this packing shit in it. And then like two weeks later, she had to pull that out of my ass. So that was, that was oh. pretty embarrassing. That was pretty embarrassing. Wow. I mean, we've been together for like, a, yeah, we've been together for like a year and a half. So I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that, mm, and, you know, not soon enough. That was your first time? <laughs> yeah, that was the first time. That's a milestone yeah, in any ready, relationship. I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready for you to pull out my ass packing. <laughs> yeah. She still brings it up, too. She's like, that was so fucking gross. <laughs> I was oh, like, shit. I'm sure it was. So whose staff was it? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. All right. Oh, Edit that out. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Have you guys, do you guys often go to the, to the doctor for ass related stuff? No, no I just got a mom. That, that was, that was <laughs> the last time. And that was like, that was like a year and a half ago or two years ago. I just go to Tyler. <laughs> yeah. I'm an expert now. Yeah. Tyler, you've seen my ass. What? Like 12 times now? At least. Yeah. Yeah. Really? He can tell you every birthmark, every mole, every, every mole, hair. every hair, <sighs> every dingleberry. I'm, I'm super, I'm super scared of, uh, Finally getting my prostate checked eventually. I don't Why? Want that to happen. <laughs> it was like it was it like twenty some years down the road. Really? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> ages away, but it's still a fear I've got. I don't know. Why like, every you now and then just every now and then just some... he has a moment where he fears that randomly in the middle of the day. <laughs> Pretty Jackson, much. He, he's Jackson, like, you got the fucking <laughs> you <laughs> he, he just goes cold one day. Jackson, what's he's wrong? Like, I just remembered it's, it's twenty coming, years. Dude. The doctor's <laughs> gonna be in my ass. <laughs> it's coming. No, I, I know I know. It. I know I'm gonna have to do it and stuff. I'm I'm gonna do it. I mean, it's, it's just I don't want to. I, I've Wait, you're gonna do it yourself? Ass, no, doctor, it's okay. I can handle this. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an expert. Just guide you know, my finger. <laughs> Smell my finger. Is it healthy? Doctor, you can do me if I do you. <laughs> have you well, well, Jackson, you've gotten physicals, right? No. You've never gotten a physical ever. Not for sports, no. for school, or for anything. Never no. turn your head and cough. Oh, yeah, you no. haven't had them roll your balls around and be all like, "Good job." No, <laughs> nice balls. <laughs> Are you sure that was a physical? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't I go mean, to that gym. I don't know. Maybe my uncle did it. It was cheaper. And by that, I mean he had to pay me. Did they use any tongue in your physical? <laughs> a little. <laughs> well, yeah, he had to do just a taste test. He had to make sure <laughs> I'm tasting. All right. Okay, I just want to make sure that was normal procedure. It tastes like old man ass. I was weirded out when I brought in the semen sample and he took a swig right in front of me. Yeah, but then he shows you the plaque with the diploma on the wall and you're like, all right, this guy knows what he's doing. 
Well, no, after he fondled my balls, he said, okay, the doctor will be in shortly. <laughs> there you go. With a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jackson, you've never had, like, a finger in your asshole? Uh, no, I know I'm saying that like it's a rite of passage, but it's a real question. I mean, I've probably had my finger in my asshole at some point when I was younger, but no. I okay. mean, yeah, you always you get some toilet paper that's not strong enough. It happens. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the world's worst magic trick. Fuck. <laughs> then you wonder how it could have happened. Like, why did you put your finger so close to the center of your asshole? <laughs> yeah. Trying to be thorough. <laughs> Oh, it's just so much. I should have just got mum to do it again. I don't know. <laughs> so many better ways. <laughs> mum, my I'm ass has poop on it again. <laughs> I'm why does this keep happening? I wish I was never born. <laughs> son, why don't you learn to wipe? Oh, I'm Jesus not your son. Christ. <laughs> Who are you? Get out of our house. <laughs> you just <laughs> bent over without your pants on, holding a roll of toilet paper, waiting for someone, anyone brave enough. God forbid you do it in a public restroom. That poor man. Oh boy. Anyway, I think we've been uh we've been recording for hour and a half, roughly. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end it. Mm-hmm. Unless anyone's got some uh, final questions that they want to throw out, Tyler, you've been awfully quiet this entire episode. Probably the most quiet person on the podcast. I have. Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like not, not any questions I can think of. Jackson's terrible joke aside, Tyler, did you have fun? I did. I did have fun. <laughs> That's such a sad <laughs> question. <laughs> well, it's insecurity. Did you have fun, chap? Insecurity. Did you have fun, finest. sports? Did we you want ice cream? We, we didn't waste your time, did we? we uh, what, can we'll you fill you. out our satisfaction survey? What can we improve on for next time? Kaya yeah. was a bit too How talkative. We we'll tell you? him to keep it down next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just tell him to shut the hell up. We'll get a finger in Jackson's ass eventually, don't you worry. Exactly. No. Yeah, I need no. to have a finger in his ass story next it's time. It's a legitimate sure. fear, for fuck's sake. I'm Why actually are you terrified afraid? It's not that bad. Because it's, it's really a, not. No, it is bad. What? No, it's not. Things go That's out, my they special can go back place. in. I'm, yeah, but it's my special place. I don't want a doctor. <laughs> I mean, he's waiting for the right person. Yeah. <laughs> he's waiting till marriage, and then five years down the road, baby, I'm ready for you to check my prostate. <laughs> Andrew, have you had have may- you yeah have you huh? had the the glove lube and finger in your asshole procedure done? No. Am I the only one? <clears throat> How is it? I haven't had it done, but I'm not Why like. Why'd you get it done? Because yeah. oh, my like sometimes when I would make some poopy come out of my butthole, there'd be some blood in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a funny way of saying oh. that. <laughs> when that's I make the some most poopy mature come way out of my to butthole. handle a prostate exam, <laughs> <laughs> doctor, my poopy is red. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do? I actually what thought it I was do? I thought it was commonplace. I had it done like eight times. Oh my Jesus. god. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you had a the finger doctor? in your ass eight times? <laughs> yeah, like someone Charlie just enjoys part. it. I just, yeah, Are it's sure part it of my physical doctor? now. <laughs> I just request it. It's, uh, I have a cold, but uh I'll bend over too. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you the rundown, Jackson. Usually what they'll do is they'll make you lie on your side and tuck your knees up to your tits. And they just say, brace yourself. <laughs> Jesus. And then and you feel both his hands on your side. You actually don't feel any. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it. Uh, you don't feel much of anything, though, Jackson, if that's any <laughs> consolation. Unless your asshole is just like the tightest and most sensitive thing on the planet. He gets no, fucking I, Shaquille O'Neal as his doctor. Just a <laughs> big fucking Brockwurst going up in there. Brock Lesnar just, walks in. Let's get this done. Like Andre the Giant uh, that'd fingers. Be, that'd be one of the best fucking pranks in the world. You get you get like the big show to pose as a doctor, and as soon as he gets the finger, and he just goes, oh! <laughs> I don't think he'd fit the finger in, like, especially if he was, like, playing that prank on me. It just wouldn't fit. He'd rick me in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Jackson, you're probably psyching yourself out. Honestly, once you get it done, you'll probably realize it's not nearly as bad. Just start just practicing you on your own a little bit, you know? It, yeah. it feels like warm jello moving around and sloshing. Oh, God, that's it, disgusting. It feels like you're doing a poop, <laughs> but in reverse. Well, yeah. I won't need to do it for another... 20 or so years. Yeah, I so then sh- I don't, don't get blood in my poopy. 
or whatever Charlie said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'll be all right. <laughs> I, just, I, I want Charlie to go to like a nurse waiting room and she's like, can I help you? And he goes, there's blood in my poopy. <laughs> You'll be well, fine, Jackson. I, I believe in you. Yeah. Jackson, you're a strong, tough boy with big muscles. Yeah. Just give me kind, kind words in 20 years. I'll need it. I'll make sure to just keep psyching you up weekly. Jackson, prostate exam, you'll nail it. Tyler, I want you, I, I, Tyler, I want you to message me in 20 years telling me I'm going to be okay. You will. You will, I we'll promise. you do that. He'll be in the if waiting you, room. We can, we can, I'll hit you up. Yeah, we can go at the same time. We can have it done at the same time. I'll hold your hand. Can we hold it? Yes. Hold yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. I'll give that's you all a I need. That's all I'm asking for. There you go. That's, that's why I brought this up. Aww, <laughs> he, he needed a prostate exam partner. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Will you be my prostate my, partner? My my finger up the butt, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So that's it for this episode of the official podcast. Thank you to everyone who showed up on time, um, <laughs> and who was who who talked. We're all great. They're all great people. Uh, <laughs> thanks to my beautiful co-host Charlie, Andrew, Kaya, and Tyler for entertaining us for an hour and a half. Go check them out. Tyler, do you want to shout yourself out? Nah, my shit sucks. Don't watch it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's got a great channel. It's PewDiePie at YouTube. Look it up. Yep. No, th- thank you uh, for, for coming on the show, Tyler. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for, for coming on, man. It. Yeah. Yeah, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. We actually might need you to replace one of our hosts. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that? Sorry, my headphones just came unplugged. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, it's better you didn't hear it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Speaking yeah. of selling out like a fuck, please go to patreon.com slash the official podcast. We love your donations and we love you. And there's some ninety fine nice incentives if you're feeling feeling like you want to support us. We have a lot of goals we want to achieve. And we like bringing you this content and we appreciate every single dollar. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, figured, you know. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, we do. We do. We do. All right. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next week. Uh, uh, links in the description. See ya. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. I, I love you. We'll try to get Bye. Kai under control next time so he won't be such a whirlwind of words talking over everyone. <laughs> uh, how do we intro this usually? We say something about Patreon. That was a great joke, Kaya. Wow, you're killing it this week. <laughs> Let's move on into our viewer lines. Welcome right. to the anyway, wacky folks, corner. Now. <laughs> yeah, beautiful guys. Way better. <laughs> oh, man. Leave that in. I'm we definitely leaving that in. Leave that in. That gave me a hoot. <laughs> anyway, Charlie, please go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, yours would probably be better. Hey, folks, welcome to the end of the show where we get to read your lines, whatever you want us to dictate to you, the host of your choice, as per picked. God fucking damn it. Hi. So this is the end what? of the show. What's happening? Where- <laughs> I, lo- I lost every train of thought that I had. Hi, this is the end of the show where we read <laughs> shout outs. <laughs> this is going to be the whole thing. It's just us greeting. Can we just read the messages? Perfect. All right. This is the end of the show where we read messages as picked by our patrons in the $50 tier. Uh, You get to send us a message, a shout out, and who, which of the hosts you want to have read it. So we're going to get started on that. Yes, we are. All right. So the first one comes from, uh, well, it just says it's from Australia Zoo, which is a zoo over in Australia. That's where I am. So (laughs) Wait, are you sure? I think so. The first crocodile I ever caught was at nine years of age, and it was a rescue. I have no fear of losing my life. If I have to save a koala or a crocodile or a kangaroo or a snake, mate, I'll save it. Yeah, I'm a thrill seeker, but crikey, education is the most important thing. I think they just wanted to take advantage of your accent for that one. I don't have an accent, really, do I? It's a small one, yeah. Yeah, A very slight one. I don't know. I think think that's a quote from Steve Owen, I believe. Seems like it. Yeah. Well, you disappointed the Australia Zoo. All right, so this one okay. is from Andrew, and hey. he would like to say, I would like to use this shout out, this to shout out my friends, Steph, Angie, Leash, I guess, Marily, Lish, Lish, Lish Marily, Sky, and Kylie. Sorry if I pronounced any of those names wrong. Shout out to them too. I want to give a shout too. out to Andrew. Oh, yeah. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes from Charlotte. Casey Ryan DeMock. If evolution is real... 
then why isn't it in the Bible? I mean, checkmate. Ooh, he cracked yeah. the code. The old Da Vinci code. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that old Da Vinci is... code. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is more, it's less of a shout out, and more a general request for all of us. Hey, I was wondering if you could get everyone to say something encouraging, something really short, like you got this, stay strong, never give up, you can do it or whatever. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me. Thank you. And that comes so from hope. You want to go? Yeah, you want to go around the circle? J-A-C-K? Just something nice? Yeah, yeah. all right. Hope, you're beautiful. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fuck, don't hit on her. I'm not hitting on her. That's I think what... they mean... Uh, I think hope means like a general... Like a general positive thing. Not not directed at her. Just something encouraging. You don't know her. that. She could be t- wanting it directly at her. She says that would mean <laughs> so much to me. Artistic license. All right, well, I'll do a second take for Andrew since he wants me to encourage him as well. <laughs> um, life is short, so make the most of it. Okay, nice one. Your All turn, right. Andrew. There are things you think you can't do, but surprise, you can do them. There you go, Charlie. Can I quit? That was awful. <laughs> can I quit? <laughs> can I quit? All right, all right, for real. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it can stay. You don't to, let's just let's move this along. It's been like 15 minutes of season's greeting. <laughs> Charlie, go. Uh, move it on. Right, my then, actual one is you're capable of way more than you think you are. There, that's legitimate. That's that's cute, Andrew. I'll just quote every basic high school student: whether you think you can or can't, you're right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kai, go. <laughs> Uh, well, Hope and, and Co. and everyone listening, you might not always be the smartest person in the room, but you can always be the hardest working one. That's a good one. Mm. That was good. Your line's next, Speaking Kaya. of Kaya, keep it going. Oh. All right, this next one comes at us from Seaman Cannon, and he says, I'm disappointed Trump used the Moab when he could have used the Seaman Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from Seaman Cannon. <laughs> All right, this one is for me and uh, has a special request on it. So, uh, Charlie, I'm I'm proud of you as a son. Ain't that some shit? I, I figured I would tell you something that your father would never actually say. Ooh. That's got, it got dark at the end there. Yeah, Sorry, kinda, Charlie. That's kind of mean. <laughs> well, Clayton, my dad said he's proud of me sometimes. Only sometimes. All right, uh, next one is also for me. When I was young, I thought girls peed and pooped out of their assholes. So the first time I remember having diarrhea, I thought I pissed out my ass. I thought I was turning into a girl. I cried. What is this, a confession site? That's a great quote. I don't know if it's from something, but that's a good quote. (laughs) Next up is Kaya. You didn't say who said that one. Oh. Edgar. Edgar Oh, sorry. That's from Edgar Juan. My apologies. I already said that. And that previous right. one was from Clayton. We said that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. I was just making yes. sure. Okay. All right. This one is from Chandler Rubin. He says, You guys really are genuine. It was fun talking to you, and I fully recommend to anyone, even if you can't afford it fully, to donate a hundred bucks at least once. Also, I hope Charlie leaves. You can use the cap salary on one of the big free agents, hopefully for a smaller contract. I Jesus. don't know what that means. Well, the fans have spoken. You're out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Goodbye. Well, it was a fun run, everyone. Yeah. Once Charlie gets too big for the podcast, he's gone. <laughs> why, why did everyone give Charlie the short end of the stick this week? Oh, no one picked him. Everyone's shitting on him. It's just one it of those days. It might be because. Well, Charlie got a bunch in the beginning. Uh, okay. This is it's from pretty, Solly yeah. S. Priff. Sorry. That's all right. So, Solly S. Priff. I think, says, I think pref means you, preferred, maybe. I don't know. Oh, so, all right. This yeah. is from Solly. There you go. S-A-U-L-I. Yeah. You need one pound of ground beef, one pound of macaroni or similar pasta, one quart of milk, and two to three eggs. Fry and season the beef however you want and cook the pasta. Mix together and put into a pot. Mix eggs and milk and pour it onto the container with the rest of your ingredients. Throw a pot into oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let cool for 20 minutes and go to blueapron.com slash official and order ve- order veggies for a salad. Oh, you know what that is, guys? That's the uh, blueapron.com slash official comment of the week. 
So thank you, Sully, <laughs> for popping our cherry. You did it! Yeah! <laughs> you did it. Leave seem like favorite. bigger sellouts than we are. Leave your favorite blueapron.com slash official ad as a comment, and maybe we'll pin it. <laughs> Leave your favorite blueapron.com slash official link in the description. It'll be, there. It'll be right at the top. <laughs> Here's a fun game. Only upvote comments that mention Blue Apron. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's it for this weekend. The Blue Apron podcast. Actually, no, there's one more. Well, we got to keep talking until uh, Blue Apron pulls up into Jackson's driveway. Well, they're coming. They've got to make the trek across the ocean. This one is from... Uh, I- I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Matteo Precious Laprice. And he says, hey guys, I don't know if you remember, but when we did the first official hangout, you asked where my nickname came from, so I returned the question to you. Gave or... Uh, do you have... Do you, did you have... Yeah. Did you used to have a nickname, and what is it? And what is the story behind it? I, I never had one, unfortunately. I mean, I think... Didn't we just talk about this? I feel like I've told you about my nickname being Jackals and my grandmother giving it to me. Oh, I, 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 I so. yeah, we did I mention know. that. Yeah. Well, just mention the hangout, that was, Yeah, it was during the hangout. Just mention it now. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, my well, that's basically it. My grandmother gave me a nickname <laughs> when I was younger. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, it's the only nickname that I'm really embarrassed about. I don't know why, but it's Jackals. That's it. You should have heard him in the hangout. He was going on and on about how he hated his grandmother for that bad nickname. I love my grandmother. <laughs> that's not the, what you said uh, in the hangout. I'm just. I'm trying to get a nudes, Charlie. Just, please. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, only nickname I've ever had uh, was in high school. My weightlifting coach used to call me Wagon, <laughs> and it's it's relevant, but I can't I can't That's really go the into most details. Most terrible why. fucking nickname. It is, and it well, it makes it wagon? makes sense, but I can't for per, per why Wagon. Oh, well, it's wait, as I random can't. as just calling you no, the no, no, steering no. wheel. Not, All right, random. Jackson, wagon. edit, yeah, no, edit no, this no, out. No, no, no. Yeah, so he'd call me Wagon. And uh, the reason he'd call me that is uh, when I was struggling with heavy weights, he'd go, "Come on, get those wagon wheels a turning." Ugh. And and it is this the guy who stuck his so, finger in your ass? It 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 made me feel really self conscious whenever he did that. Like it, it was embarrassing. But that's that's the only nickname I've ever really had. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie, did you have one? Char- uh, I guess, charming Charlie. I, I guess. Char- what is, well, what is the story Charlie, behind yes. Charming Charlie? You, when you Ugh. said it the other week, you. It seemed like you disliked it. What is it? What's the oh, story? Well, it, it was like in my freshman or maybe sophomore year of college, and I would bring like fireball to house parties to just like give out shots because I thought it'd be fun, nice way to meet people. And then two absolutely revolting human beings called me Charming Charlie for giving them alcohol, and then they proceeded to follow me around asking for shots, and they were. It was it was nothing you wouldn't see in a Lord of the Rings movie trying to get the ring back. It was it was horrific. Jesus. They were really rude. <laughs> Disco and... Ball is the eye of Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was an it was a, super uncomfortable and they were super rude and not good people and not pleasant to look at. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well that concludes well, that, this. Yeah, that does it. Yeah. Thanks to those patrons for sending us their messages. I hope we did them, uh, I don't know, service. I don't know. <laughs> How do we end that, this that, usually? Thank, thank you for, for the donations. questions. Oh, yeah, th- and yeah. That. There weren't and, questions. Or, uh, thank you. Thank you for your viewer support. We genuinely mean it. No jokes, no bullshit. We're really thankful that we have very nice fans. Yeah. Sincerely, thank you. It does mean a lot to us. Tune in next week for a special surprise. Ooh, don't spoil it. All right. It's GTA 6. It's blueapron.com slash official.